Yeah, hello, hello everyone, Biomariner here again with another figure review. Now this one's a little late, but it's a really special one to me. Uh, Sailor Moon Crystal, as we all know, has recently just came out a week ago. I believe the second episode just came out today. And I'm really excited to review this figure because I love Sailor Moon. I, I grew up with it a bit in my childhood, but I didn't love it. I was more of a Dragon Ball Z kid. But now I'm reading the manga and it's... I, I can't believe how much I love it. So, at Anime, Anime Central 2014 this year, I saw Sailor Moon um, sold by its official um, American seller. And you know what? She was full price, but I had to get her. And I am so happy I got the last one that day. So before we get to um, Usagi herself, let us look at this beautiful box. I like this box, it's much like um, Kodo Bukia's because it is pretty compact. I mean, I'm not sure the shipping rate on this one of course because I did not have to have it shipped. I bought it at a convention. But it's got very pretty pink design, sparkles, image of the figure itself on front. It says the 20th anniversary of Sailor Moon up here. And these warning choking hazards were added by the American company because, you know, American standards and all that. And as we see, it is a Figure Arts Zero. And I believe this was this Figure Arts Zero is made under um, Bandai, but this was also made in conjunction with Volk's company. Down here, you can see the sticker of authenticity by Toei. And the bottom of the box has more warnings. Again, this is a stuck-on warning by Bluefin Entertainment Distribution. And they are the ones who were selling the Gundam, Sailor Moon, Figure Arts, and such at the convention. Again, this side, very pretty. It's got a very nice window. Um, a lot of pink ribbons reminiscent of Sailor Moon's transformation. In the back, we have many images of her and some detailed shots, which I will show you in person with the figure. And here, a nice, um, solid look at her um, moon rod and Sailor Moon herself. It's a nice compact box, so I don't think if you get it from Japan, the shipping shouldn't be bad. And for reference, really quickly, I, whoops, I have my Sailor Moon manga. And this is Naoko Takeuchi's, um, you know, original drawing, which is what Crystal is more um, reminiscent of. But of course, the original anime, though a little bit more cartoonish, um, sticks, of course, with these designs as well. So we'll be looking at that when we look at Sailor Moon. Now let us look at the cute Yusagi Tsukino the Sailor Moon herself. And as you can see, she's a simple but beautiful figure. I thought some, I heard some people complain about the base, but I actually really like this base. Um, I believe the other girls, the, sa the uh, inner Sailor Scouts, will have bases to do with their elements, like Jupiter has a lightning bolt base, um, Ami or Sailor Mercury has a water base, and it's Sailor Moon, so the classic crescent shape is shown here. Can't see it too well, but it's also a sharp crescent, which is why I like. And let's get to Yusagi herself. Okay, first, um, before we talk about all the pros, let me talk about some of the cons. One we can see first is this arm. It looks unnaturally bent. First, that really threw me off. I, I like my anatomies to be realistic. This pose is exactly like they copied right from an anime screenshot and her arm is like this as well. And after a while, it looks glaring at first from photos, but when you have her, her herself, you won't notice it. it okay, and that's the, just one big flaw I want to talk about. Now let's get to the rest of the figure and I'll point out some other little things. Again, I love her translucent moon base. There's a little bit of seams there, but she is firmly stuck to this base. You cannot remove her from this base, which I don't mind. I like that. Her, uh, her boots, the pose, they are a shiny metallic pink. It looks almost like a metallic pink leather or rubber material. And they're really well done. I really love the creases on the boots. They're very well done. Um, 
Of course, this base, she's screwed in here, so very tight and nice and secure. And it shows off, you know, she's not just standing down, she's in her attacking position, thus the e heels are up. Nice creases here. And then, these are painted on. And they're not painted, uh, the little moon crescents aren't painted on, you know, perfectly, but, um, they're, they do the job, they're not. Now, her whole uniform, which some people I heard did not like, is it has a metallic sheen type of finish to it. A little, it's almost a little bit glittery, almost, but not very much. It's definitely shiny. Um, and I actually really like that of the figure. It brings it out more, it stands out, especially in the light. Um, the shine on the skirt is beautiful. Her um, top bodice is more a gray color, but that's because it's a white, white with the sheen, which makes it a little bit gray. But um, it still looks silvery white, very pretty. Let's go to the bow on her back. Also pink like her shoes. And this one, also a bit metallic, but not as, um, not as shiny as the shoes, which I think is nice. But the front is similar, and it's a little hard to see, but I'll try to bring it in. There's her little brooch, and also her necklace, very well done. Earrings as well, very reminiscent. Um, they're not exactly to the manga, but like I said, it's based on the original Sailor Moon anime, and it looks great. I love her hair. Uh, well, let's get you f her face first. Now, Bandai is a little simpler of a company in um, since they usually make prize figures, but they do have this figure arts zero line, which I'm hoping they keep expanding on. But it's definitely not like Good Smile Company and Alter and such who are focused on making scale figures. Um, Bandai makes more action figures, posable figures, but this one turned out very nice. Her face is a little plain and simple, but I mean, her anime face was also not extreme. While it did have many cartoony expressions, it doesn't have the style and, you know, big crystally eyes as animes these days. But still very pretty. Her bangs are very detailed, a little bit coming off, very reminiscent of Naoko style. Um, gloves also have that shiny metallic and then this pink kind of shine on the end in her signature I'll punish you by the moon <laughs> pose. Um, the cutie, uh, not, well, the moon rod, or also known as the cutie moon rod, is very nicely done. Pink, little three yellow stars, the wings are nicely painted, and I especially love, um, the orb at the end is quite translucent. These, um, in her bun, these jewels are also a bit translucent, and it's um, really nice, uh, honestly. Some people said it looked too big, but I think if compared to the illustration, if it's um, Usagi, well, keep on to say Tsukihi. Oh my gosh. Waifu on the mind. Her tiara is nicely painted and has a nice red gleam to it. And, um,. The bottom of her hair is slightly translucent, but the curls are nicely done. They look as realistic as this hairstyle can look. I mean, there are some minor flaws with this because it is a Bandai product. I don't think they have as much quality check as, say, GSC or um, Alter. The bangs are a little bit messy, and there's uh, there's no like paint defects, but some areas have a little bit too much paint on them. Here you can see that, and there are a few little tiny seam lines here and there, but over, it's very minuscule. I had to look for it myself. And I'm going to give obligatory panty shot. A lot of people weren't happy with her panties because they were like a little thongish, and she wears like, you know, a full body suit in the anime, but Honestly, it doesn't really bother me. It's not a problem, because unless you're displaying her on a super high shelf, you're not gonna get that upskirt. Overall, I would give this figure a, um, I wanna say 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I'm thinking, I usually always say 10 out of 10 because I love figures. The enjoyment this figure has brought me, I really love. She is still available online sometimes. I saw her used on AmiAmi Ami even last night for about, um, 
I want to say, you know, $50, 50 uh, yen, thousand yen, so a little above $50. I bought her for full price, around $80. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend her to any Sailor Moon fan. They will be coming out with the other Inner Senshi Scouts, and I hope they do the Outer Senshi since they, they are my favorite. But here's the beginning. Ami should be coming out in a month or two, Sailor Venus in a few months as well. And um, Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Mars have prototypes being worked on. So yeah, any Sailor Moon fan, go check out Crystal. And if you are a big Moony, get this figure. It is one of the best of Usagi yet. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye, I'll see you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe.